Today we're leaving Wardrick Wells and headed to O'Brien's Key. O'Brien's Key is uninhabited, but a tiny island next to it is home to an abundance of marine life. So much so that it's been named the Aquarium. We'll check that out and relax on another sandbar and explore the area around it. Then we'll move on further south to Compass Key. Thanks for joining us on our journey, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw. Getting closer every dawn Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are dreamers of the shore The aquarium looked busy so we decided to head over to the sandbar for a relaxing afternoon So this is the aquarium and that small cutout hosts a wide variety of fish and coral species. And once you get in there, it really does feel like you're snorkeling in a tropical fish tank. So let's check it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
So one hand on the belly. Where my, where my fingers are. One hand straight under there. Come on. Just bend down. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Bend down. Yeah. Bend down. Uh -huh. bend down, bend down there. I know. And then touch, rub them on the top, okay? Just rub them on the top, just like that. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I couldn't pour out of this. Oh, okay. oh, it's so cool. Here you go. This is, this is nuts. <clears throat> you're good. You're good. You're good. Just, just walk normal. Just don't step on it. Oh my God. Hey, is that cool? So cool. You're good. And underneath. Okay, which way are you going? You going that way? In the back, in the back of the fence. Yeah, one hand underneath. Okay. He wants to go for your leg, just let him go. Asher, dead. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got you. Cool. Nice, good job, Cameron. After we swam with the sharks, I figured we were done with Compass Key since that's what it was known for. However, when we finished up, Mickey and Sophia asked if we wanted to go on a short hike to a cool little beach, and we thought, sure, sounds great. So we started down the trail, and as we were going, Sophia starts telling the story about how the island was owned by a British family and passed down from generation to generation. The family stopped paying taxes on the island, and in 1964, the Bahamian government confiscated it and gave it to the island's caretaker, Tucker Roll. Whoa. Holy smokes. He is currently the owner of the island and many of his 27 children and other family members help operate the island. This was one of those unexpected gifts, the cherry on top. I thought for sure that any minute there would be throngs of tourists that would uh, bombard the beach and it would be crowded. But we were the only people there for the entire one mile beach for about two hours before we saw anyone. Definitely one of my favorite memories of this trip. That'll do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Tune in next time where we'll check out Staniel Key, Swim with the Pigs, and check out Thunderball Grotto.